Welcome to Word Bites, friend, where I share bite-sized messages that bring big time changes to you. I'm Wumi Ademola. If there's a prayer you ought to pray this year for yourself and all the years of your life, it's this. It is that the hand of God should be with you and the hand of God should be upon you. You ought to pray just like Jabez prayed in 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 10, when he cried out to the Lord and he said to God, Oh, that you would bless me indeed and enlarge my territory, that your hand would be with me and that you would keep me from evil, that I may not cause pain. And the Bible ends by saying, God granted Jabez his request. You ought to pray that prayer, just like Jabez prayed. Why? Because three amazing things happen in your life the moment that God's hand comes upon you and God's hand is with you. First of all, when God's hand is with you or upon you, you will become very successful. And so we see Jabez, the first expectation he has of the Lord is that God will enlarge his territory. That speaks of success. My friend, when God's hand is with you, you will become very successful. Genesis 39, 2 through 3, the Bible tells us that the hand of God was with Joseph. God was with Joseph and he was a very successful man. And it concludes by saying every single thing that Joseph did, God made it to prosper. So when God's hand is with you, everything you lay your hands upon will literally turn to gold. It will prosper when the hand of God is with you. Secondly, when the hand of God is with you or upon you, you will enjoy divine speed, divine speed. Maybe you have experienced setbacks in your life. Maybe you're at a point in your life where you think others have overtaken you. Your peers have gone far ahead of you. I tell you, all that will change the moment God's hand comes upon you. You will enjoy divine speed because the hand of God is going to propel you forward. That's what we see the hand of God do for the man Elijah. First Kings chapter 18, verse 46. The Bible says the moment that the hand of God came upon Elijah, he outran the chariots of Ahab. Ahab, can you imagine on his foot, he outran somebody that was riding a chariot. I mean, that would be like you or me outrunning somebody that is driving 70 miles per hour. But I tell you, when the hand of God comes upon you, you will enjoy supernatural and unprecedented speed. The third thing that you will enjoy when the hand of God comes upon you or the hand of God is with you is that you will enjoy divine safety. I tell you, you will have no fear. You will enjoy supernatural protection. And that's what Jabez said. That was his second expectation in that prayer. That Lord, let your hand be with me and keep me from evil. The hand of God with you will keep you from evil. The Bible says in Psalm, the Bible says in Psalm 139 verse 5, it says, you have hedged me behind and before and laid your hand upon me. So when God's hand is upon you, it means he hedges you. It means he surrounds you. The Bible says as the mountain surrounds Jerusalem, so God surrounds his people. When God's hand is upon you, he hedges you behind and in front so that you are protected, you're kept secure, and you dwell safety. No enemy can lay his hand upon you when the hand of God is upon you. So my friend, pray this prayer that Jabez prayed every day of your life, that the hand of God should be with you and the hand of God should be upon you. And the moment you pray that prayer, I guarantee you, you're going to notice three amazing things begin to happen in your life. You're going to be very successful. You're going to enjoy divine speed and you are also going to enjoy divine safety. Next time, I'm going to share with you three things that you must do for the hand of God to come upon you and to remain with you. So tune back next week. Thank you for uh, listening today. I trust you were blessed. So please share this podcast. And if you've not already done so, subscribe to our YouTube channel, Knowing God Media, and also follow all our handles on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. God bless you.